Hey guys, Maury Kennedy here with Maury Kennedy Photography. I uh, wanted to talk to you real quickly about the upcoming uh, photography class we've got on December 2nd in Greensboro, North Carolina. Put this class together in hopes of passing on to others the same experience I've had in terms of being able to build up either a, a photography career or simply just being a better hobbyist photographer. And so what happened in 2015, I, you know, I bought a kind of a nice camera, started taking pictures with it, and I liked the pictures. I did not love the pictures. And it was mostly because I didn't know how to use the camera. Composition or framing a shot, knowing what should be within the frame of a picture, some of that stuff can be learned, some of that stuff is innate, but ultimately my problem is I didn't know how to make my camera work. I didn't know how to get the best out of my camera. I didn't know how to get the most out of my equipment. So in 2015, I hired a photography consultant. He came out and spent three days with me, uh, and we still to this day joke about it because after two days, I sent him home early and said, Eric, I, I've, I've heard every single word you've said. I've memorized every single setting you've told me about, but my brain cannot handle anymore. So the way I built this class is in a way that it's not overwhelming, but it is a good, solid coverage of the basics. And so a lot of people are intimidated by photography because a camera can be so overwhelming with all of the different settings. The way the cameras operate is not uh, user friendly like a cell phone or like a, a you know, latest laptop. That it's a lot of old school type technology even though it's been improved but it's the same type stuff that's been around for years and years and years and it's a little bit overwhelming to try to understand all of it. The thing I want beginners to understand is you don't have to understand all of it. I started my photography career in 2015 knowing the basics of what I can teach you in one afternoon. And so the class is all about the, the fundamentals of good photos. Uh, there's a lot of things that we're not going to learn in this one class. And there's a lot of those things you don't ever need to learn necessarily to take better, better pictures. As you advance in your career, if you decide to be a, a professional photographer, obviously there are lots of things that you're going to want to learn. But where you will be at the end of this class, you will be in the exact same position I was when I started my professional photography career in 2015. Now some eight years later I've traveled the country, I've been to, I think my camera's taken me to 45, 46 states and uh, I've worked in all types of work. I've done real estate, I've done sports, I've done portrait, I've done video, I've done lots of different things with my camera and uh, real estate is where I started. Uh, I've shot over 250 marinas so I do a lot of lake photography, hence the name of my business, Lake Photography. But those fundamental lessons that I learned that day with Eric in 2015 out on Lake Louisville in Dallas, Texas are still to this day the things that I put into effect in my camera every single time I turn the thing on. At the end of this class, you're going to know how to use the basics. You're going to know how to, to fundamentally get better pictures with your camera. The second part that we're going to work on is editing photos. Uh, digital photography is a, is a lot different than it used to be in the old days. And so editing photos is really half the challenge or half the fun or half the battle, if you, if you will. And so we're going to spend a lot of time on how to get the most from your camera. We're going to spend a lot of time on editing the photos once you've taken them. Uh, we're going to spend some time talking about the different, type, different types of lenses and the different focal lengths that they that they offer and, and why you would want to use certain focal lengths. And then we're going to talk a little bit about the business of photography in case there are some in the class who want to pursue a career in photography. A career in photography doesn't mean that you have to be full-time. It doesn't mean that this income has to be what in, feeds your entire family. You can build a photography career as a side gig and make decent money and then decide down the road if it's something that you want to do more full-time or if you want to spend more time on it. But when you leave this class, it's important for you to understand, when you leave this class, you're gonna be able to take a photo that you would frame and put on the mantel in your, in your home above your fireplace. We're going to know enough at the end of this one day class to where you literally will be able to take good quality photos, frame them, and hang them. Or, if you want to be a paid photographer, you're gonna be qualified to go out and ask for business. And so, you again, you won't know everything. It's not a real technical deep dive into how the cameras work but it's a lot of time spent on the three main fundamentals of photography, and that is exposure, ISO, aperture. If you understand those three things, and then you understand how to edit the photos once you've taken the photos, you're so much farther along 
than someone who just literally got a camera and doesn't yet know how to turn it on. And so at the end of this class, you literally can go knocking on doors and ask for business if you want to be a paid photographer. But if you just want to be a hobbyist and you want better photos of your family and your friends, you're going to be super ready for that type of photography. The class is from three to eight. Yes, that's a, that's a fairly long one-time sitting. We're gonna have the class here in my tree house. It's a, a studio I built in the back of my uh, property. It's where I do all of my photography editing. Uh, it's where I've done a lot of my photo shoots. We've done cooking shows. I've done a music video in here. We, I do lots of product photography out here. I've got lights. Uh, i got a beautiful setting. i got plenty of fire pits, so if it's nice and chilly, we'll, we'll, be, we'll be plenty warm. But we also have a kitchen. I'm actually standing in the kitchen now. And so dinner will be included in the uh, photography class. And so we've got seating for about 15 to 16 people. Uh, we've got a few spots left, but I wanted, to, I wanted to do this video just to give you a real quick idea of what all will be covered in case you're considering the class. I will say that if you're considering the class, I would recommend registering uh, as soon as you know that you are in fact ready to take the class because once it fills up, it fills up. It, it's, a, it's a beautiful tree house. I'm, I'm partial because I built it and I love it. Uh, and it's a fairly large tree house, uh, but it can only seat so many. And plus I want to keep the class small enough to where We've got plenty of one-on-one, -on -one, uh, and I want to make sure that if somebody has questions, we have time to cover them. We're not going to go very fast in the class. We're going to take our time. We're going to do it slowly. We're not going to move to step two until we make sure that we understand step one. And if anybody in the class doesn't yet understand step one, we're going to stay on step one until they do. And so I want to make sure that everybody leaves here feeling like they really understand the fundamentals of getting a better photo, the fundamentals of editing a better photo, uh, a little bit of information about how to make a career in photography if, in, if interested. And then the last thing about the class that's really cool is Yes Weekly has uh, decided to sponsor the class. And in addition to sponsoring the class, what they have agreed to do is to consider hiring some of the graduates in the class who would be interested in event photography. Now, Yes Weekly covers events throughout the triad, and they often hire photographers to go shoot these events. And so Yes Weekly has agreed that they will allow uh, so any graduates in our class who are interested and who are qualified by learning enough to take these photos, that they will hire these these folks to take photos at these events and these photos will be published in Yes Weekly, you know, the weekly uh, newspaper that circulated in the triad. So not only can you learn the basics, not only can you become a much better photographer, but if you, if you have interest in being a paid photographer at some point in your career, you literally can walk out of here with a paid gig. I'm not promising anybody any kind of get rich quick scheme. I'm not even promising a get rich slow scheme. What I am telling you is that I started a photography career that I've been doing full time for seven years now and everything that I learned the day I started my photography career you will know at the end of this one day class. Again the class is December 2nd in Greensboro, North Carolina. It's in the Treehouse studio I built in my backyard. If you're interested I would recommend that you go ahead and register now. You can read through uh, the information I've got on my website at Maury Kennedy Photography. Feel free to call me if you have questions. My phone number is 336-609-4943. If you prefer email it's maury at maurykennedyphotography.com. Again it's open to anybody. If you have equipment, bring it. If you don't have equipment, no problem. I've got plenty of cameras on hand that will be uh, allowing uh, students to use. Uh, and so sign up, give me a call if you have questions, and I look forward to meeting you.